I'm sure it's interesting talking about a show that that has already released in one place now is releasing elsewhere. Mm-hmm. What mm-hmm. has it been like? Uh, I guess hearing the different reactions. I'm sure from different parts of the world as it comes out. Oh, it's been awesome. Um, you know, the the gloaming did really well in Australia and um, kind of had a little sleep for a while, and we knew it was going to come overseas. It was just a matter of when. Um, and so it's really exciting to be bringing this um, this story that we've told to the rest of the world. And I think too, you know, bringing Tasmania, you know, obviously there's been shows made um, in Tasmania and the writer creator Vicky Madden made a show, a phenomenal show called The Kettering Incident there before. Uh, but I think she really took it to the next level of how she wanted Tasmania to be seen. So um Tasmania really ultimately being the main character um is just seen so so wonderfully in this in, in such an epic kind of nature and so we're really happy to be bringing that to the world it's it's such a beautifully shot and I love that it's it's uniquely shot it, it, the the lighting the texture to it is completely different from a lot of shows like this yeah uh, what what's it like I guess uh kind of diving into this subject matter because it's grim it's dark uh it seems really moody to be a part of and and even the first scene you're in even is it's kind of such a strange sequence and yet and that weird gloomy mood as well Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i'm trying to think of the very first scene remind me so you've broken in to the developer's house yes 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 uh of course funny I'm like oh going through all the scenes of course that's so yes yes Molly's obsession with um with Gareth I know it keeps you the questions going like what is she doing like what is going on um yeah look it was um it was such an extraordinary um uh kind of show to shoot and subject matter that I was very interested in um I'm obsessed with the supernatural. I'm obsessed with true crime or crime in general. I love it. Uh, One would say I'm a little weird and dark. (laughs) Now I'm like, that that just makes, well, you know, I don't think everyone is. Maybe the, (laughs) that's a funny thing, but uh, I definitely am. So I'm, I'm thoroughly intrigued by it all. Um, And I'm a complete nature girl. So uh, for it to be shot, <clears throat> excuse me, in Tasmania, which is a place that I was desperate to go to. And then I got the job. I was like, yes, five months in Tasmania. I was so excited because it is just such, it's kind of otherworldly Tasmania. And um, I feel most alive when I'm in nature and Tasmania has nature like you've never seen. Um, it's it's phenomenal. So it was just all of these elements that it, that came together that, got me very excited about the show and um yeah ghosts man who can get who can go, I can't go past ghosts I'm like yes let's kind of get in there with these with the spirits um I'm really into that so it was just a, a complete dream role for me and also working with Vicky Madden who is a total genius I was a big fan of Kettering Incident which was in Tasmania and kind of uh about aliens sort of um uh and I saw that and was like I really you know I just I really want to work with this woman so it was just there was so many things there that drew me to it I love too that you know like the waterfall sequence in the first episode you know waterfalls we think of beautiful and bright and happy kind of spots and it, it brings such a grim grim segment to it but then as you're speaking like it, it does show off kind of the beauty of Tasmania as well yeah Uh, so I kind of love that kind of duality going on in the in the first episode yeah no absolutely the dichotomy it was like you couldn't get to you know more opposites if you try but I think that's kind of what she was going for you know um and there's a lot of that throughout the whole show and um and that's what I love about Vicky as well she's all about the nuance and it's like it's like so all about the nuance that sometimes if you're not listening really intently you're going to miss the tiny little things throughout this whole show um 
and I think that's what makes a fantastic writer as well. But, yeah, there's a lot of contrasting scenes in the show where you're like, it is so beautiful and so grim simultaneously. But, again, that's what kind of makes it epic and interesting and, and just draws you in. What would you say drives Molly? Because uh, she's, she's certainly complex from, from mm. first glance. Uh, truth and justice. She has to win at any cost. She's like, I will find out who did this and I will win this and I will find justice or get justice for whoever needs it. And, um, and you know, father who was a, who was a cop um, <clears throat> who killed himself, although I'm not sure I can say that now. Ah! <laughs> well, you'll find out soon. Um, yeah, she really, you know, the amount of love and respect she had for her father, um, she just, I, I guess, really wants to carry on what he started and make him proud. And so, um, yeah, that's Molly. What uh, what can you hint at or talk about in terms of the relationship between Molly and Alex? Uh, because obviously there's some history there and some things mm -hmm. that we're going to find out through the season. But I'm curious what you can hint at so far. Yeah, look, what I can hint at is that, um, uh, so you've seen the first episode. Um, look, there was a relationship between them 20 years ago and something very, very tragic happened. And from that time, he left and they haven't seen each other in 20 years. And so there's this really interesting dynamic between those two characters so much that's going on that's not actually said in the scenes um and so playing that you know all of this subtext all of this like so much going on and kind of keeping up this sort of facade, facade of a tough uh you know it's tough kind of exterior and slightly cold this is molly yet being the most sensitive person in the room it was really interesting trying to get that right you know and then being an awesome cop on top of it and then being like well there's ghosts you know let's just add some ghosts in there so it's really funny it was just there's just a lot going on that was like i want to get this right and most importantly make people believe this because that's ultimately what you're wanting to do is for people to be like wow i really believed that what can you uh, tell us about the relationship with her daughter? Because that also seems pretty complex. Yeah, definitely. Um, look, she loves Lily more than anything else um, on the entire planet. She's her everything. Um, but, you know, Molly's a little bit of a fuck up. She's a risk taker and she, her job is everything to her. And because of this, it's like, you know, it's her relationship suffers with her daughter um but she just she loves her and so there's this kind of like her daughter wants more of her and Molly tries but can't quite live up to um what the daughter needs and is she risking the daughter's safety and and so um I think she just wants to prove herself to her and um have that relationship you know that she's always dreamed of with her but I can't take I can't say too much but you as yeah it gets pretty interesting let's just say that the i guess one of the things too that i love is that that the opening sequence is is the tori amos song the cover of tori amos's song mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. i think it it says so much you know mm -hmm. in just a few lines did mm -hmm. you have any music that you listened to kind of i know some actors listen to music to get them in in the mood of scenes yeah. and stuff do you do you do that or what's your take yeah absolutely um especially when you know you don't have much time to really get into the emotional space that the character's meant to be in um I listen to music all the time sometimes you just want to shut out the noise and and the rest of the world um anyway so you can just kind of focus on it but then also the music makes me feel a lot of emotions um yeah I didn't have like a specific soundtrack for <laughs> 
the time. I just have awesome music in general and would just mix it up. Um, but music is a huge part of my um, uh, a part of myself as an artist. It definitely um, helps because it takes you places. That's what that's what music does, and so it's very quick to then <clears throat> hop into an emotional space. Do you uh, do you have a favorite episode from the first season that you can kind of hint at? Um, Yeah, there's one, there's a really full on one. Um, it's hard because I can't say too much, but it's in a location that you that is so epic. And what happens is so like anxiety inducing. Um, uh, and it was, it was big. It was really big to shoot, you know. Um, I can't, I just can't even tell you, but, you know, there's something interesting come probably the third episode, then it really starts to get going. And then it's just like, what is going on? It's just bang, 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 bang. So all I can say is just um, sit back, relax. You're probably going to experience a lot of anxiety throughout the show, um, but <laughs> you'll be happy at the end of it, if that makes sense. We'll see. Love Hopefully. It. Well, it sounds fantastic. I, I am looking forward to getting deeper in because the mm. just the opening that the first 20 minutes of the first episode, it just hooks you and the, the tone is phenomenal. Oh, thank um, you. That's awesome. You, you guys, as a team, you all did an amazing job. So it's really fun to dive into this now. Mm. Uh, I'm curious for you. Um, you know, also without giving much away, which I know is hard, but mm -hmm. what do you want to see in the second season? Is there something that you're hoping to see from Molly you yeah. know, now that you're going into that? Look, I've had chats with Vicky um, and Vicky's just, Vicky has the most incredible mind. And so I was like, what are we expecting from season two if you know all goes ahead and she got, she told me some ideas she was like look i'm thinking this i was like oh, oh my gosh <laughs> only you and so i think if we venture into season two if it happens uh we're going to be taking this a lot further and let's just hope molly just keeps being a kick-ass cop and um you know, she also finds the healing that she's so desperately after, which I really, you know, without saying too much. Um, yeah, let's just say I, I, I hope and I hope Molly finds happiness. It's hard. I can't say too much. Sorry. But yeah, no, I, I totally get it. And that's yeah, that's what I love, though, is these these conversations that we can kind of, you know, I guess broach the the line there <laughs> yeah 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 yeah. no no totally um but yeah hopefully that gives you some idea i think we might be taking the whole supernatural to a very entirely different place and <laughs> i love it i'm so intrigued by it all so i'm like push it push it further <laughs> and so yeah hopefully we will we'll soon see Awesome. Well, otherwise, thank you very much for the time. Is there anything you want to share otherwise or anything you want to say? No, I think you've asked me all the questions. Just uh, enjoy the show and um, get out. Yeah, get the popcorn, turn the lights off um, and enjoy because it's a really great show. And I think it's very rewarding. Or, you know, your questions will get answered because obviously it raises a lot, but um, you will be very satisfied at the end of the show. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. Have a wonderful day. Thanks, Andrew. Yeah, you too. Take care.